Hi guys, I'm back. It's Casey and I'm in the kitchen as usual. Today I'm going to make my own version of chicken chimichanga. I really like it. I try to venture out and try a few different things sometimes when I cook. I've been doing chimichangas now for a few years, five or six years actually, and I do them very well. And they are so, 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 so good. Um, I'm going to actually uh, do a chicken chicken chimichanga. I do a beef chimichanga and I do like a ground beef chimichanga. Today I'm going to have my shredded sharp cheese. I like to put in some salsa. I got garlic powder, seasoned salt, a little bit of taco seasoning, black pepper, I got a few onions in a cup, and I got a few green peppers, green, orange, yellow, and red peppers. I'm probably not even going to use all of those. And I'm going to use olive oil to get my pan, um, just to get my pan oiled down. Nothing serious, just light olive oil. So you guys, and here's my chicken. My chicken is done already. I baked that in the oven, actually. So I'm gonna use this to make my chimichanga. I got my my tortillas um, in the microwave. I'm gonna hit them for about 30 seconds once I get done with my mixture here. And then I'm gonna have at least one for dinner. There's gonna be so many of them here alone. So I'm gonna probably end up having to freeze them, which is a good thing because I can freeze them for game night. So hang in there with me, guys, and I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, everybody, I'm back for to get my chimichanga started, and I actually decided to go with the spray instead of just, you know, the straight olive oil, so I'm going to spray my pan down and throw my chicken in there. I'm going to actually throw my vegetables in there to get it started, let them get sauteed a bit, and we'll see what happens from there. We're going to shoot, so got that sprayed down really good. You have to be quick because when you use the spray, it burns quickly. So we don't want it to burn. We want it to be pretty. Because you guys know how I like my food. And if I had you all in here with me, you would say, pretty. Because I like my food. I like my food pretty. And I'm going to saute these just for a minute. It's not going to be very long. I'm going to let those go ahead and roll a little bit. About two minutes, let them stir fry. They'll be good. Maybe not even two minutes, they're starting to smell good now. And I don't want them, I don't want to get them too done because they need to be about halfway there when I throw the chicken in and then let it cook the rest of the way with the chicken. The chicken in it. So, doing good so far. And I use that olive oil spray. I could have used actual olive oil. I could have used plant butter. I try to stay away from regular butter and I try to stay away from margarine and any type of animal fat. I try to stay away from that. I use vegetable oil, canola oil, if I'm gonna you know, use oil for anything. Um, but I'm normally the thing. Is. So these are good, I'm gonna say. I got my fire on a little higher than medium heat. I'm always hanging right around, hanging around somewhere around medium. So, this is perfect. My little vegetables here are perfect. And I'm, next goes in my chicken. I'm going to dump all of it in there. I cooked that earlier and chopped it up. So, it's actually going to be good. I'm going to just take a minute and let this warm up. Let it simmer. I don't, need, I don't want it to be really, really, really oily because I got too many other things that's going to make it moist because my vegetables are going to make it moist. And then I'm coming right behind it with the salsa, which is going to make it beautifully moist. And it looks like I'm going to have enough to make about six. So I'll eat one because that's all it takes for me. And, you know, it's kind of late in the evening. I don't like to eat too late. So I'll probably eat one. I'm going to go in with my black pepper. 
my seasoned salt. I don't need a whole lot. Seasoned salt. Garlic powder. I'm just going to basically let the chicken warm up some. Just get good and warm. And then I'm going to throw in just a little bit of the sauce. I don't really need a whole lot because I don't want these to be wet, runny all over the place. So I'm just going to throw in just a, just a, about maybe a quarter cup full, maybe a half a cup full. And it's good, guys. Okay, and these are wonderful uh, um, for game like football, wonderful for game like. Turn my fire down now to a little less than medium. And you know, let's make this a uh, whole cup since I got a lot of chicken. I got more chicken than I really anticipated. Because I anticipate doing different other things with it, but I'm going to turn all of this into the chimichanga. Okay. And I'm going to put just a little bit, a tap of water. Don't need much, just a little bit, quarter of a cup maybe. Stir it up, get it all mixed. Because you don't want it wet, wet, wet. You just want it to be a little, really a little red. Because when you put it in your shell, especially if you're going to freeze them, you don't want to get your shell soggy. So we're going to just go ahead and then I'm, I'm going to put a top on this, guys. And let that simmer for about, hmm, let's give it simmer about 10 minutes. Okay. And I'll get back to you guys in a few. Hey, everybody. I'm back and I got my chicken where I need it to be at. It's perfect. I turned it down a little bit for to let it cool because I got to be touching it and I don't want to be burning up my fingers. So you understand, but I got it cooked down perfectly. Not a lot of juice in there at all, which is not, I don't want a lot of juice in there at all. And I'm going to take these now and I'm going to show you how we go about rolling them up. I got my tortillas. I set them in the microwave for, whew, I put them on about 30 seconds and then I went back and put them on for about an additional 10 seconds. So they're good. So I take my chicken and I'm going to have my 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 my, my tortilla chip, my tortilla. I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to take my shredded cheese. And my shredded cheese is going to be added on once I get my chicken and tortilla. So what I'm going to do, and you don't, we don't want to put a lot, okay? We want to because we need. Folded room, so I'm going to say about this would be good. This is a uh, you know this is a rubber spatula, about one rubber spatula full. And actually, I might go a little bit more because these are pretty good size tortillas. So I put a little bit more, about one and a half. Okay, and I'm going to turn that way, and then my shredded cheese goes right on top of it. And uh, most of the time, people, for real, I make a cheese sauce and pour it a bit. But because I'm, I'm, I'm planning on freezing most of these, I'm going to do it with the shredded cheese. Then it'll be okay. And I'm going to show you my cheese sauce because I'm going to make it for the pour onto the one that I am going to eat. So we'll see the cheese sauce. But for right now, we're going to take that tortilla. We're going to fold it that way. 
then we are going to, I think I wanted this one, fold this way. And then I'm going to fold it like that. And that's almost perfect because these would be tucked in if it were perfect. So let's see if we can make a perfect. But that's perfect. So we're going to take that. And I'm actually gonna sit those in my container here because I'm putting them in the freezer. But I'm gonna put them here for right now because I'm gonna actually put them in parchment paper individually. So, when I take them out, then you know, with no freezer burn or anything, that'd be okay. And we're gonna to go to the next one. And I think I got three, six left. And that should be more than enough. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna put the chicken in there. And like I said, we don't need no real whole lot because we need to fold in the room. I said that's fine right there. And you can actually pile that pie if you want to. I'm not really piling that pie, but you can pile that pie if you want to. And my shredded cheese on top. So we want it to be, I want it to be cheesy. I like it to be, I like my chimichanga really, really cheesy. So what we're going to do, we're going to fold it that way. And then I'm going to fold this here. And because I remember from before, I'm going to fold that after time. Fold that there. And then I'm going to fold this over, and that time, this time is perfect. Perfect. Okay. And if you if you think you might need to, you can always take a egg base and wipe it down, or you can um you know wipe down the, the little tail end of it so it'll stick together, or you can take a toothpick and stick it in there, and you know that'll hold it together as well. But but right now you got the idea so i'm gonna go on and take care of this and i'll see you guys when i'm done okay i'm almost down to the last one guys and i actually did it perfectly because after i do this one and i'm gonna fold that there i want you all to see I fold that there so they won't be sticking out and then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to fold again. And you see that? That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Put this one over here because that's going to be frozen. That's going to get frozen. And this is the last one, which is going to be the one that I'm going to eat. Okay? Now. This is the last of the chicken, guys. It turned out very well because I ended up, I have six over here. That one is gonna make number seven. So seven is odd man out, it's small. So you know what that means. Seven is gonna be mine for dinner. And there's my cheese. Okay, I'm going to fold it over this way, and then I'm going to fold this, I'm going to fold these in so that tail won't show. Now fold that up, and then I'm just basically going to roll it from there, okay? And that's your chimichanga, that one there is absolutely perfect. If you put a little egg base there, it'll hold. Or you can just stick a toothpick in there and it'll hold. Because you can do other things with this. The things that you can do with this, you can eat it just like this if you want to. But that's not my preference. You can put these in the oven with a little egg base, a little butter, a little egg base, and they'll cook perfectly in the oven too. And they'll be, a, you know, golden brown. But I like to fry them in olive oil because it gives, it makes them... It gives them like a crispy taste, just like a little drop in, just like I just recently did 
my Hawaiian ham rolls, ham and cheese rolls. You just drop them in, in, in the oil just for like a second and you can actually do it with, with with your coat the pan with the olive oil spray and just let it, you know, cook like a grilled cheese, whichever one is, you know, easier for you. I like to drop it in the oil because it makes them so much, it makes them crispy and I just like it when you hit it with the fork and it just crisp all up or it'd be really, really, really nice. And I make that cheese sauce I told you guys about. But this time when I do it, I'm going to do it really quickly. I'm going to do the quick cheese sauce in the cook. Okay. So I'm going to hold this one right here out and I'm going to get my stuff together for my cheese sauce and I'm going to get my olive oil ready and my pan ready to put that in there, drop it in there, fry it. So, I'll be right back guys in the vault fast. Okay guys, I got them all rolled. There you are. I came up, like I said, with seven and six here. These are perfect size for game night too. They really are. Uh, you know, some hungry guy that had a beer or two reach over and grab one of these, I give them, I might give them two bites and it's over. But these are pretty good size. With this one, they might get three bites. Okay. But look at them, they look beautiful. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually take the one that I have left over, because these are going to be frozen. Got this one left over. And that's going to be the one that I nibble on tonight. And I'm going to make a cheese sauce for it because I like it with a cheese sauce. So I'm going to make my cheese sauce first before I drop it in my olive, my olive oil and get it fried. So what I do with my cheese sauce is I'm going to start off with a small cup of milk. Well, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take my cheese, my shredded cheese. My shredded cheese that went too fast. I'm going to take about... A little less than a half a teaspoon, and this is not even a teaspoon, this is small, this is like a half a teaspoon. So like a quarter of a teaspoon, about, about, about a half a teaspoon of flour and drop it down in there. And then we're going to take, I got this little Dixie cup of milk. I'm not even going to put all of it in there, I'm going to put like half of it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the cup because I'm using the mug. I'm going to take the cup and I'm going to sit it on top of this little plate. And I'm putting it in the microwave because sometimes when you do this, the cheese will rise. It's going to cook beautifully. The cheese will rise and it might spill over and I don't want it to spill on my tray. So it's easier for me to just put it here. Sit it in the microwave. I'm putting it in the microwave for about maybe just one minute. That's one minute. And I'm going to go on and I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm going to pour it in here in my pan while the cheese is cooking. Pour the olive oil, olive oil in the pan. Because like I said, I really want this to be kind of deep fried. And it's going to be like the other, the Hawaiian um, ham and cheese that I made. Because you just drop them in there for like a second and just flip them and just, you know, like a second. By the time I get my cheese sauce ready, which I think that I'm, it's time to stir it now. Yeah, time to stir it now. Because I, like I told you, don't take long. You can do all that cooking and stuff like I do for the macaroni. Now, I take my time and do a lot of stuff for the macaroni, but look at that. Look at how perfect that is. That's absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do now is, my fire was a little hot. I don't want to be dropping my chimichanga down in there. If it's too hot, it's got to be like medium. So I'm going to let it cool for a second, and I'm going to let you look at my beautiful cheese sauce. Look at that. Look at that cheese sauce. That is beautiful, and it is absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. So, I think my oil has calmed down some, cooled down some. So I'm going to put it back over there on the fire. I'm going to take my chimichanga and see it's good. I don't think I'm going to need to have to, I'm not going to say it won't open up, but I don't think I'm going to have a need to put a toothpick in there or an egg base. I think that if I lay it in there right on top of here, the weight will make it cook and make it stay closed. So let's see what we got, guys. It's cooking perfectly. 
perfectly. These usually flip pretty fast, pretty fast, guys. I'm gonna look and see if it needs to be flipped. Yeah, we good. And I'm gonna let it sit right there for a minute, just to get the side, you know, to look pretty, just like that one does. It don't have to be completely brown. I'm gonna turn it around, and let you see it. It has to be completely brown. But I want it, you know, brown enough. I got it on a little less than medium. For me, medium is five. I got it on four. And then I think that that's good. I think that's good enough, and I'm just going to slide it down. See that? One more time. I'm going to, you know, flip it. After it get brown enough here, I'm going to flip it. One more time. And let it drain, let it get cool. I'm going to pour my cheese sauce over it. I got my sour cream. And I might just put a little bit of salsa. I think I'm going to put a little bit of salsa right next to my sour cream or right next to my tomatoes, maybe. Let's get it out. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to sit it right there. And let it sit there for, you know, about a minute. Take my oil, sit it back there, and I got my cheese ready. And I'm not going to use no salad dressing. I don't need anything like salad dressing. A lot of times I do the Spanish rice, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, I'm not going to do the Spanish rice because I don't need it. My stomach, I eat like a bird. People, would, My friends would tell you I eat like a bird. And this right here would be enough to make me more than full. And I'm going to add on a chimichanga. So, but um, it looks beautiful, guys. And we're going to give that a minute to drain. And I'll be back. Hello, hello. My chimichanga is here. I took it and I put it on the plate. Look at that, how pretty that is. I think I did an excellent job, people. Look at that. Now, I know it looks a little crazy. I'll serve it with tortillas. I know it looks a little crazy, probably. But um, we're not going to worry about that because the flavor and the taste is going to be even more crazy. And what I do is, and I'm hungry, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is, from here, that's my meal. That's basically my meal. I'm going to put a little black pepper. On my tomatoes, that's all I wanted on, tomatoes only. And I got my chimichanga sitting there, beautiful. And I'm gonna pour my cheese sauce that's only gotten better since it's set for like, it's been sitting for like maybe five minutes. Pour my, chimich my, my, my cheese sauce right across that chimichanga, right across it. So that way if I wanna take my Tortilla chip and dip it over there in the cheese. That's fine. It's there. And I like to make stuff look pretty, and everybody know I do. So I'm going to start off. I got some yellow, orange, and red peppers and green peppers. And I got some spring onions. And they both look nice. And that's my finished product, people. I mean, I could actually do something like sprinkle a, a, a bit of parsley on it, but what? Doesn't need it. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is without it. But that's it. And that's a perfect game night tray as well. The guys love it. The girls love it. Sports time, they love anything you bring. But look at how beautiful that is. And when you take that, they are really going to love it. So, guys, if you like what you see, you know what I need. I need you to go on and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I need you to leave me a comment down in the bottom. Right down at the bottom of the screen, leave me a comment. Um, I take requests. 
if there's something you want to see me make, then I'll be glad to do that. You just let them have to contact me and let me know. And again, like I said, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I can use some subscribers. This is going to be my dinner. I did a great job. I hope you all like what you see. And I love you guys. Smooches to you. I'm hungry. This is getting ready to get tore down. And I love you. Smooches. Smooches. Hit the like. Please, 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 please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Smooches, baby. Smooches.